ever pondered whether gobbling up loads of protein might be giving your kidneys a rough time? On the vast expanses of the internet, there's a widely held belief that overdosing on protein could spell disaster for your kidneys. But is there any truth to this story? In this captivating video, we embark on a journey to uncover the real scoop on how a high-protein diet intersects with kidney health. If you're keen on keeping your kidneys in tip-top shape, then buckle up because this is one video you absolutely can't afford to skip. Brace yourself for a revelation, even the experts in kidney matters have some blanks when it comes to this vital organ's well-being, especially concerning kidney failure. But fear not, because we're here to arm you with the most reliable and cutting-edge information that's bound to leave you feeling empowered to take charge of your health. So, let's dive in and separate fact from fiction when it comes to the impact of protein on your precious kidneys. And guess what? By the time this video wraps up, you'll be armed with a better grasp of your kidney health and the steps needed to safeguard them. So, let's dive right in. For years, the prevailing wisdom among health experts, including kidney specialists, has been to advocate for a low-protein diet as the golden ticket to optimal kidney function. They've sounded the alarm, cautioning against the perils of consuming too much protein, painting a grim picture of potential kidney failure or the worsening of pre-existing conditions. But hold on to your hats because in this video, we're about to unravel these long-standing beliefs, debunk the myths that have been circulating and dismantle that major medical misconception that's been holding us back. It's time to challenge the status quo and dig deeper into the science behind these claims. Are our kidneys really as fragile as we've been led to believe? Is protein the villain it's been made out to be? Let's embark on a journey of discovery together as we sift through the evidence and separate fact from fiction. Prepare to have your assumptions turned upside down as we navigate through decades of research and emerging insights. By the end of this video, you'll be armed with the knowledge you need to make informed decisions about your dietary choices and the impact they have on your kidney health. This notion largely originated from advice for folks with kidney ailments to restrict their protein intake. The logic behind it lies in the fact that protein contains nitrogen, with amino acids packing a particularly nitrogen-rich punch. When these amino acids are broken down, nitrogen in the form of ammonium needs to be ushered out of the body via the kidneys. Now, we get it ammonia sounds ominous, but fear not. Your body doesn't let it roam freely instead, it converts it into urea, a harmless compound eliminated through urine. However, the concern arises when there's an excess of urea due to a high-protein diet potentially burdening the kidneys. This hypothesis was floated decades ago, gaining traction among health experts who, at the time, saw it as a plausible theory, especially when it came to preventing kidney disease. Fast forward to today, and countless studies have failed to provide substantial evidence supporting the notion that a protein-rich diet is detrimental to healthy kidneys. A recent groundbreaking meta-analysis led by Stu Phillips' team delved into the heart of this debate. After scrutinizing numerous studies, they compared the effects of high and low protein intakes on kidney function. Surprisingly, they found no discernible difference in glomerular filtration rate GFR a key marker of kidney health between those consuming high versus low protein diets. Their findings suggest that a generous protein intake doesn't throw a wrench into the works of healthy kidneys. So, the verdict is in contrary to popular belief. Loading up on protein isn't the villain it's often made out to be for kidney health. As mentioned, there are also some studies on individuals with kidney disease. For example, there is now a study at the University of Illinois where they provide, I believe it's 25 grams of whey protein per day to individuals with stage 3 kidney disease. As mentioned, there are also some studies on individuals with kidney disease. For example, there is now a study at the University of Illinois where they provide, I believe it's 25 grams of whey protein per day to individuals with stage 3 kidney disease. We think so. They found that the group not receiving protein did not fare better than the protein receiving group. One of the issues is that, especially with kidney diseases, is you may be wasting away and you also need to repair those damaged tissues. So, having too little protein can hinder that, as opposed to having a small amount of very high quality protein source. There have been some very poorly conducted studies over the years, in fact, from many decades ago that seem to suggest this. But there have been great studies that completely refute this misconception, even in individuals with advanced stages of chronic kidney disease.
eating protein has no harmful effect on your kidneys. Protein does not harm your kidneys. Say it with me, protein is not bad for your kidneys. Okay, that's a myth, that's not true. Anyone who claims that consuming too much protein is not good, that too much protein is bad for the kidneys, you can immediately dismiss because they are not a reliable source of health and nutrition information. They are also far behind in reading, still believing in sugar-coated tales on the internet, and basically they don't know what they're talking about. Some tests you might have heard of are bun levels, which is the blood urea nitrogen level, you'll hear about creatinine levels, not creatine but creatinine levels, and you'll hear about GFR or glomerular filtration rate. That's what you'll hear about. All right, now urea levels really many times. If your bun or blood urea nitrogen level is elevated, many patients who don't know better and many doctors who should know better would think that's a sign of kidney damage. But it's not. All that means is you're just eating a lot of protein. If you eat a lot of protein, it might raise your bun. That's not a sign of kidney damage. It means you've just had a lot and you have more urea in your blood. Urea is just a breakdown product when you eat protein, which is broken down into amino acids. Part of the long-term cycle of that is you have an increased level of urea in your bloodstream. Not a sign of kidney damage. If your creatinine level is high, even by one-tenth of a point, you've got kidney damage. You at least have stage one chronic kidney disease not caused by protein, my friend, I promise. If your glomerular filtration rate is low, then you've got a problem somewhere and you need to talk to your doctor about that. But don't just take our word for it. We've got the science to back it up. Below you'll find links to three eye-opening studies that lay bare the truth about protein and kidney health. So before you buy into the protein panic, arm yourself with knowledge and dive into the research. Now, let's circle back to the protein puzzle. How much of it do you really need to keep your body ticking along smoothly? Reputable health organizations like the American Society of Nephrology, the American Endocrine Society, and the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics have weighed in on this matter. According to their expert recommendations, kidney patients should aim for a daily protein intake ranging from 0.6 to 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. For instance, if you tip the scales at 60 kilograms, your protein sweet spot falls between 36 and 48 grams per day. Picture this, a single slice of red meat serves up about six grams of protein. So to hit your daily quota, you're looking at savoring between six and eight slices of juicy red goodness. Of course, individual needs may vary based on your health status and the advice of your healthcare provider. If you found this video enlightening and hunger for more knowledge bombs like this one, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll always be in the loop whenever we drop another truth bomb. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, here's to happy, healthy kidneys.